Imagine this, a man with a burning desire to be with the woman he loves, but everything around him tells him it's impossible. She's with someone else, society's rules are rigid, and even his own circumstances seem to stand in the way. But this man is Neville Goddard, someone who knew that reality wasn't something fixed or predetermined. He believed in the power of the mind, the power of assumption. What if I told you that Neville Goddard manifested his marriage to a specific person against all odds, using the same principles you can apply in your own life today? What we're about to dive into is more than just a love story. It's a lesson in the true nature of reality and how you can shape your world by harnessing the law of assumption. Stay with me until the end, because the key insight I'll reveal later is one that most people overlook when manifesting a specific person, and it could be the very thing you need to bring your desires into reality. Neville Goddard had met the love of his life, a woman named Coraline, in New York. From the moment he saw her, he knew she was the one. But like many of us, Neville wasn't immune to life's obstacles. Coraline was already married. It wasn't just any marriage either, it was a situation that seemed unchangeable. Back in those days, the societal norms around divorce and remarriage were much stricter. On top of that, Neville was in no financial position to make any bold moves. In the eyes of most people, the odds were stacked against him. But Neville didn't accept reality the way others did. Here's where things get really interesting. While many of us might have felt helpless, Stuck in a situation that appeared beyond our control, Neville didn't see it that way. He knew one thing the external world is a reflection of our internal state. If he wanted to be with Coraline, he had to assume the state of being married to her, even if it seemed impossible in the physical world. The principle Neville was working with is something he taught throughout his life that whatever you assume to be true, your subconscious mind will manifest as reality. And it wasn't just about wishing or hoping, Neville knew that if he truly felt the reality of being with Coraline, the universe would rearrange itself to bring that experience into his life. So how did he do it? Neville didn't beg, plead, or try to manipulate external circumstances. Instead, he turned inward. Every night before going to sleep, Neville entered the state of the wish fulfilled. He vividly imagined that he was already married to Coraline, he would lie down in his bed, close his eyes, and feel her next to him. He would imagine her presence, the feeling of her hand in his, the warmth of being in the same bed together. He would fall asleep every night in this state, knowing that as long as he persisted in the assumption, it would become his reality. At first glance, this might seem like wishful thinking, but here's where Neville's teachings break away from traditional advice. He wasn't daydreaming. He wasn't merely hoping. Neville was engaging in what he called living in the end. By immersing himself in the feeling that his desire was already fulfilled, he was speaking directly to his subconscious mind, the part of us that creates our reality based on our deepest beliefs and assumptions. And the subconscious doesn't differentiate between what's real and imagined. It accepts whatever you feed it as truth. Neville didn't get caught up in the how. He didn't try to figure out how Coraline would leave her marriage, or how they would come together in a world that seemed to be against them. He knew that the how was not his responsibility. His only job was to maintain the feeling of being already married to her, and to trust that the universe would orchestrate the circumstances in a way that would bring his desire into reality. Now here's where things get fascinating. As time passed, circumstances began to shift. Coraline's marriage dissolved naturally, without Neville having to interfere or force anything. It was as if the universe was aligning itself to make room for their relationship. Eventually, Neville and Coraline were married, just as he had imagined in his nightly sessions. The seemingly impossible had become real. But what can we learn from Neville's story? First, it shows us the power of persistence. Neville didn't see immediate results. He didn't panic when things didn't happen right away. He knew that the external world takes time to catch up with our internal reality. The key was to keep assuming the feeling of being married to Coraline, regardless of the outer circumstances. And this is where many people struggle when manifesting a specific person. They get discouraged when they don't see immediate changes, or they become obsessed with what the other person is doing or thinking. But Neville's story teaches us that the real work happens inside. 
The moment you align your internal world with the reality you want, the external world has no choice but to reflect that. Now, you might be wondering, what if my situation is different? What if my specific person is in another relationship or doesn't seem interested in me at all? The beauty of the law of assumption is that it doesn't matter what the current circumstances are. As Neville often said, the external world is nothing more than a shadow of your internal state. If you persist in the assumption that you are already with your specific person, the external circumstances will shift to match that reality. But here's the thing, it's not about controlling the other person or forcing the situation to happen. Neville's teachings are not about manipulation or making someone do something against their will. Instead, it's about shifting your own consciousness, your own beliefs and assumptions so that you naturally attract the relationship you desire. When you embody the state of being with your specific person, the relationship manifests effortlessly, without struggle or force. There's another aspect of Neville's story that is often overlooked, and it's the key insight I promise to reveal at the end of this video. While Neville was manifesting his marriage to Coraline, he wasn't coming from a place of lack or desperation. He wasn't focusing on what he didn't have, or on the obstacles in his way. Instead, he was focusing on the fulfillment of his desire. He wasn't trying to get Coraline, he was living in the reality where he already had her. This is the critical difference that makes all the difference in manifestation. When you approach your desires from a place of need or desperation, you're telling the universe that you don't have what you want, and because the universe reflects your internal state, it will continue to give you more of that lack. But when you approach your desire from a place of already having it, when you feel the fulfillment of your wish in your heart, the universe mirrors that back to you. So how do you apply this in your own life? The first step is to get clear on what you want. In Neville's case, he wanted to be married to Coraline. But it's not enough to just want it, you have to feel it. You have to step into the state of already having it. This means imagining what your life would be like if your specific person was already with you. What would it feel like to wake up next to them every morning? How would you spend your days together? What would it feel like to be loved and cherished by them? And here's the most important part, you don't just imagine it once and forget about it. You persist in that feeling, day after day, night after night, until it becomes your natural state, just like Neville did. You fall asleep every night in the assumption that your desire is already fulfilled. You carry that feeling with you throughout the day, knowing that it's only a matter of time before your external reality catches up. It's also important to let go of the how and when this is where many people trip up. They want to control the timing, the circumstances, the other person's actions. But as Neville's story shows us, the how is not our responsibility. Our only job is to assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled and trust that the universe will handle the rest. Now, I know that this can be challenging. It's easy to get discouraged when you don't see immediate results. But remember, the external world takes time to reflect your internal state. Just because you don't see movement right away doesn't mean that nothing is happening. Trust the process, persist in your assumption, and know that your desire is on its way. In conclusion, Neville Goddard's story of manifesting his marriage to his specific person teaches us some powerful lessons about the nature of reality and the law of assumption. It shows us that no matter what obstacles seem to stand in our way, we have the power to shape our reality through our assumptions. It shows us the importance of persistence, of living in the end, and of letting go of the need to control the external world. And most importantly, it shows us that when we align our internal state with the reality we desire, the universe will move mountains to bring that reality into our lives. If you're ready to apply these principles in your own life, start today. Get clear on what you want, step into the feeling of already having it, and persist in that assumption no matter what. Trust that the universe is working behind the scenes to bring your desire into reality, just like it did for Neville. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more insights on Neville Goddard's teachings and the Law of Assumption. I'd love to hear from you. What are you manifesting? Leave a comment below, and let's continue this journey together. Until next time, remember, you are the creator of your reality, and with the power of assumption, anything is possible.